So work done by big body and summing up. Hmm? I have already discussed this. So you can understand this. This is the rigid body, center of mass, point P, Fi is acting, and it has already got a velocity component here, Vi. And now <coughs> the force vector is like this, the velocity vector is like this, and you can see a small vector here, one more chota vector that is dsi bar. Yes. Yes, yes. That is the displacement vector. You can see all the three vectors here. Huh? Yes. Incremental vector. Okay. Huh. So obviously you know the work done by Fi will be what? Fi dot ds1. Yes. Correct? Yes. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. So and um, this uh, ds1, if you see here, this small incremental ds1 dsi where dsi is equal to dsic yes. plus dsc what is the meaning of this this position with respect to center of mass plus the position of center of mass center of this so that you have done it huh. everybody got this yes, Arun, yes, what is this <laughs> huh, tell what is it that's why looking at your face only i am pausing did you hear what your friend said? Only one she should take the center of mass. Uh, Sijan, once again repeat what you told. Sir, the position with respect to the initial point said can written as the position of the point with respect to center of mass plus the position vector of uh, the center of mass. Vector mm -hmm. relations. What do you know? See, if you take a line from C to this point, where right? this will be. What's it? If you take from that DSIC. Okay. DSIC yes. Okay. Elaborate. What is it? DSIC? It's the displacement of the position. Wait, he's answering. What is DSIC? It's a displacement with respect to center of mass. It is displacement with respect to? Center of mass. Huh. And that I is not visible. I is not visible. Incorrect. Okay. And what is DSC? It's displacement of center of mass. Center of mass, yes. Displacement of the center of mass. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Huh. So DW1, yeah. Uh, so now what happens here? See, yeah, phi now, yeah, phi dot DSIC. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. So this will be in line. So therefore the dot vanishes. Yes, sir. And here F I D S C this will be this. And DSIC is what? Here it is. Yeah, in this point, max. in this point it is clear C. So it is D theta R I C D S I C. So what will vanish? I mean the, the dot will vanish. No, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. Sorry. No, sir, no, no, wait, no, 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 sorry, they have not put the dot. So I turn D T. So D S I C now it is K R C. D theta yes, bar cross R S C. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Huh. Now this will be what? D S C F1 bar by D S C. What is this? Because this force will pull the center of mass also. Hello? Yes, sir. That is why yes, this is the displacement yes. of the center of mass. This force yes, is rotating and translating. Yes, sir. This is doing two work. One is it is causing rotational work and also translation. Clear? So this accounts for the rotational work done and this accounts for the transitional work. Done. Yes, sir. I hope it is clear. Yes, yes sir. 
Others say yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Huh. Now, rotating the scalar triple product WSI is equal to um, I, um, See here, there is a uh, You will learn in mathematics uh, Vector mathematics you are going to learn There is a chapter on vectors mm. in mathematics huh. There is something called as vector uh, triple product That is, uh, it is there already Ah, scalar, scalar triple product. In vectors, you have got this uh, scalar triple product. In the chapter called vectors, you know this scalar triple product. Okay. So it is say in the in the book you will get here a bar dot b bar cross c bar. A bar dot b bar cross c bar. Okay. Can be written as b bar dot okay c bar cross a bar. Yes. Huh? You will you will know this how it is written and how it is proved there. So you can write this like this. Okay. So then uh, because you can do this manipulation and get R I C cross F I. So we can write it as tau I C. Okay. So d theta bar d theta bar dot tau I C plus F I dot A C. This is beautiful because see we have yesterday seen tau dot d theta. Yes. Will give a work done by rotation at the top. Yes, sir. So we are getting. Yes. And this is the work done by the translational effect of the force. Okay. This is the rotational effect of the force. This is the translational effect of the force. Yes, so beautiful. Yes, I hope all of you got this. Yes, sir. Yes. Huh. Then the total work done DW of all the forces, internal and external, <coughs> acting at all the points of the rigid body during the time dt is given by way sum, 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 summating the elementary work done by all the points during the time dt. So, dw is equal to summation di. So, summation di is summation so and so, so and so. Okay. And yes. tau external about c. Tau external about c. Very clear. Ah. No confusion. Yes. Dot d theta bar. Yes. Tau external dot ds. Okay. Uh, since tau internal c is 0. Okay. Uh, so finally, the total work done by all the forces due to finite displacement in time t is integrated by this. W is equal to integration tau external dot c with respect to c integration special w as a Clear and clear and very clear. <laughs> uh, since the, see that's what you go to the particle uh, uh, you know the derivations and all things will be clear because in a bigger problem if you are encountering something oh what should we do then you go to particle you will get the idea yes, so this fundamental equation uh, if you have the clarity then there is no difficulty in this problem <coughs> since the force may tend to rotate a rigid body and also translate the center of mass rigid body the torque of all the forces about center of mass is responsible for rotation, performs the work done, so and so. And the net force performs the work displacing centimeter is called so and so. Very simple. The above facts can be summarized in summarization. Note. F net is equal to F internal plus F external is equal to F external. <coughs> tau net is equal to tau internal is equal to tau external. W net is equal to W internal plus external is equal to W. Okay? Clear? Yes, sir. Ah, yes, yes. Ah, yes, sir. <laughs> Typical. Ah, okay. Now look at this. Body, same. Only thing is, we will have to use the concept here of net force. Yes, sir. So, tau is C. Ah, there tau is taught in terms of B L C by dt. So, next one. Next one. I is brought out here. 
अरे वाह सो नाइस प्रूफ वी आर डन सिमिलर प्रूफ इन ट्रांसलेशन सिस्टम ओमेगा Okay, so I C into D by omega, huh? Next step is not there. There is D bracket omega dot omega. Next step. You cannot write that. It is omega uh, omega D omega. Omega, omega D omega. They cannot write. Okay, okay. I write it. Sorry, omega D omega. It is. I'm sorry. Omega. Okay. You cannot put it in bracket. You have to. So omega D omega. If you integrate it. So sorry, they have gone made it put it wrong here. So you get here omega square by two, and that is omega f square minus omega i square. Yes, yes. Yes, there is a mistake. Sir, one minute. Sir, how did they get two this? No, no, they should not have written there. They have uh, this is wrong. This is wrong, man. Hello. And that two not come. It not come. So you simply uh, yes. forget this step. You forget this step. I C D omega omega dot D omega, okay. That is omega D omega. If you integrate, you get omega omega square by two. Omega square. Uh, directly yes. from this step, you come to this. You will do it. This step yes, yes. you can read. So change in the rotation can be done. Similar to what we have done. Yes, yes. Okay, exactly. So the proof is also there. Practice this proof once in a while. It is nice. Yes. Because an examination is asked, you should be able to do it. Good. Oh, right. See any exam you should excel. Ah. So you should not uh, be little any exam and you know for one if you have to. Examination is examination. You should answer any question with humility. Okay, not with arrogance. Ah, uh, this question, ah, <coughs> chillar, you should never do that. Okay, those people who do that, they will go to dogs because I have seen many students. They might solve very great problems, but in boards, you know, they end up getting horrible marks. And that clearly shows that they don't know science, but they are somehow solving some science getting through. And uh, there are people who know how to look at the marks and how to evaluate the student. Okay, see, I know one student. He got few, they, in those times, you know, in now also fifty-two percent in board marks because he said what nonsense, and he got into IIT. Okay, but after that, you know, he did IIT, and then uh, because of good rank, he went to US uh, for PhD. He did his MS PhD. Now he got bored of everything. Now uh, he is uh, he. He was first telling, I don't know software and all. Now he is doing some software. That too, he is disillusioned with everything. Now he has gone and settled in some uh, some un, some very small country in a very small uh, place. He says this is only very nice, and he has settled there. And the other eccentric behaviors, good for nothing. Okay, and he left his PhD also halfway. He didn't complete it. Okay, so all this will happen. So that's what you know. You should not be eccentric and all in all like that. And get all the dhore ne mar do, the hane paro na. Okay, enjoy, enjoy everything in life. Any everything good is there. <laughs> okay, conservation of energy quickly. Nihang bandi pas, cycle bandi, scooter bandi. Huh. Okay. Consider the following situation: means rigid body, but it's about to be charged. The constraints are this one. So, about this constraint, I think all of you know this no constraint. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. It is pivoted at this point. So pivot point, uh, it is constraint. So we can write it in terms of R X and R Y. I think all of you know this. Yes. Sir. Huh. And yes. the body is rotating about this point. Since P is stationary, the work done by the reaction forces is zero. Right. Yes. Huh. Okay. In the case of pure rolling. Uh, of a body or a fixed surface, the contact forces F S and N act at instantaneous point, and they are not dragged. And therefore, for pure rolling, since the contact on Venus is the work done by the contact force is zero. That is, work done by the static friction and work done by the normal is zero. Yes, sir. Yes. Huh. Yes. And here, you see, now here there are when two or more rigid bodies are pinned and are connected by hinges. Yes. Smoothly at different points, P Q R has shown the constraint forces reaction occurs as collinear axial reaction pair. That is, 
Uh, Everybody is at different points. So here you can see Rx and all will appear this. Is. Then the sum of the work and the, all the constant forces is zero. Because they cannot move. See, the forces which cannot move, the point of application of force doesn't move, then the work okay. is zero. So basically you see, when is work done? When the point of application of force displaces. And there is a component of force in the direction. So here, they, the, all these contact, these points, you know, they are fixed. So therefore, they, they will not move. They will help in heading. See the hinge, you know, it will help you to rotate this. But the hinge point itself will not move. So therefore, no work is done by all the forces at this hinge point. Yes. That's the idea behind this. Sir, the hinge will not move. Sir. Hinge will not move. Sir, like, uh, they are talking about point you know. That's what man, see, now here, this point, this point, this point, are all, see, this is a complicated mechanical system. Okay, it's a very complicated mechanical system here. Okay, and uh, if you add up all the reactionary forces here, okay, so they don't move, they are all, the constant forces will not move. And therefore, the work done by that is it. Don't worry too much about this one. Okay, because it's a part of a bigger problem. When you take the problem, you yourself will understand. Simple, if there is a point where forces can be shown, just like, you know, uh, the hinge point here. You can show the forces, uh, static friction and this. But you see that these forces are there. They are active forces, but they will not move. That point will not move. So, therefore, no work is done. Ashtay, that's the telecroscope. Okay, sir. Huh. <clears throat> huh. Now, here you see, keeping all the above points in view, if the hinge body does not experience any non conservative force or even though a non conservative force is static friction and if it does not perform any work as described by Fioroli, the work energy theorem will be what? The work energy can assume the form. Uh, work done by uh, conservative force is equal to uh, 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 Since conservative forces perform work at the expense of potential energy, or uh, conservative force is equal to Yes. Sir. So therefore, then delta is equal to this. Already we have discussed this. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, okay. Ah, then, supposing there is spring force here, okay, change in the kinetic energy above the spring force. So, here we have got here poten change in the gravitational potential plus change in the spring energy. Wherever there are two conservative forces, work done by each one of them, you have to Thus, if a system containing rigid bodies does not experience any outside non conservative force or non conservative forces acting on the system do not perform any work, the total mechanical energy that is the sum of the potential kinetic energy of the system remains constant. Mm -hmm. You increases at the I have already discussed this point. 